So, I trained one more. So, yes, please start. <laughs> so, good evening, dear audience. <laughs> um, in this picture, you see me in Ethiopia, as I've said, uh, where a lot of donations from Germany shall and must arrive. Uh, I'm very delighted to get the possibility of presenting a very important part of our company vision at the example of the nonprofit sector. Nonprofit 2.0, these are at least three elements. First, that's me, I'm Oliver. The second element is a nonprofit market, one of our customer markets. And thirdly, the 2.0 representative for internet web 2.0 processes. I will start introducing myself. I am founder and CEO of Grün Software AG. Uh, we have about uh, 80 employees. And among other things, we are a market leader in Germany um, as software manufacturer for the nonprofit sector, uh, aid organizations where we steer more than 1 billion euro of donation per year. But to follow our customer goals, we have to do more than just development of software, technical development of software. So we have four divisions, as you see here, including our media agency, Gift Grün, which adds emotional and creative thinking to our and my linear engineering thinking. Focusing the second element, non-profit market, we see a big market with more than three billion dollar uh, euro of donations per year. But we also see the main source of income from old-fashioned expensive post mailings and dominated from oldies over 60, the most increasing group of internet users. Yes, internet, here you see internet, uh, the term web 2.0, a so-called web 2.0 site, the third element, allows users to interact and collab collaborate in contrast of websites where users are limited to the passive viewing of content. For successful realization of web 2.0 projects, we must solve the starting situation. There's a huge incomprehension and disapproval between technical and creative people. Thus. There are no programmers in media agencies and no creatives in a software company normally. Well, here you see someone like me, a nerd, a programmer. Uh, a programmer is thinking technical. Um, when he is programming an order form, it will look awful. But he will store the data in right logic, dividing address from order itself, etc. This guy, of course, is very important creative guy. His order, of course, will look much more better with more usability, but he is incurious about the structure to store data. So at least the address of one customer will be stored as captured. As often as a customer ordered, he may not remove. But together, the, both guys can conquer the world, get creative ideas out of the understanding what is stored May, making an innovative order form which really satisfies the customer. Building new ideas by connecting technical and creative folk. That's very important. My example project as, as proof of concept is from the non-profit organization Mention for Mention. This organization makes a Germany tour with a truck to achieve new target groups. We enrich this tour with the idea of selling balloons for five euro as donation in a very special way. We designed a tag for each balloon, like you see here, which was to split in three pieces with individual numbers on each piece. One piece remains at the balloon, one piece remains in the hand of the donator, and the third piece goes into the box of the NGO. Then the donator let the gas balloon fly. Back at home, the donator could send a message to the possible finder of the balloon. That's donation with added value. He can use the individual number on his piece of tech. Of course, the donator has to put in his address before recording his message. Due to, success, uh, to, uh, sorry, due to suspense, we had a large range of participants and addresses, of course. Also, the finder of the balloon finds the note on his balloon tag that there might be a personal message for him anywhere in the World Wide Web. Technical and creative combination leads here to donation with feedback, with fun, 
and with competition. Which balloon will fly the farthest way? The Daimler Bank, as venture partner, was excited, and they decided a match giving of 10 euro for each balloon, sender, finder, pair. So the donation increased because of an idea connecting technical and creative approaches. Satisfied customer, a new order for our team. Last year, we are allowed to realize the whole relaunch for Mention for Mention. We are reducing everything, as you can see here in this print screen, giving donator an imagination of the work from Mention for Mention. There was included in this relaunch a new campaign, Städtewette. We are collaborating in this campaign where 24 cities in Germany bets against the founder of Mention for Mention, Karl-Heinz Böhm, that they will manage it to collect one euro from each third inhabitant of their cities for education in Ethiopia. I am personally happy that I managed to argue our major, Marcel Philipp, to risk the bet against the Böhms. So, Aachen participates, private persons and companies fall in bed fever. Each day, thousands of clicks on the webpage to see the place of your city in the worldwide, no, in the nationwide ranking. In summary, Aachen wins the bet against Mention for Mention. But most important, the citizens of Aachen donates 200,000 euros in six weeks. And while we are sitting here in the Ludwig Forum, an own school named Aachen for 1,000 children is under construction in Ethiopia. And so I must say, last but not least, don't be a sheep, be brave, please be brave. If you are a nerd, please search a creative in the beer break. And if you're a creative, also search your opponent. Then let's conquer the world together. Thank you very much. <laughs>